every time we talk about the moon landing, whether or not it was fake, somebody calls in and says, well, you can you can see the flag and you can see where the rover was. And how, how do you answer that? Well, there's no Earth-based telescope, according to NASA, that can resolve resolution to any man-made artifacts on the moon. Right. Here are the arguments that people use, and I'll refute them just as quickly as I can say them. First, they say it involved hundreds of thousands of contractors. You can't keep a secret from that many people. Well, of course you can't. Do you think the CIA is dumb enough to tell the person making the glove, the door handle, or the boot, hey, we're really not going to the moon. Don't tell anybody. Right. That's like saying what the bank teller at Wells Fargo and the C know about the corruption in the bank are identical. They're different. And the flight director, Eugene Krantz, said a person in the command center cannot tell the difference between a simulation practice flight and a, quote, real one. So how could we watching it at home on our living room set? The second argument is that the Russians and the Chinese would have blown the whistle, but that's not true either. They are blackmailing us instead because if they release the information, it becomes valueless. I know someone who works in the Chinese space agency. Go to sabrell.com and you'll watch a video about this. He says everybody there knows the missions were faked. They are blackmailing NASA for space technology in exchange for not blowing the whistle. The third argument is, well, there are laser reflectors there. We have a Scientific American magazine from 1958 that says they were bouncing lasers off the moon without mirrors in 1958. So all they did is choose a reflective area to choose as the landing sites. And in addition, Russia and China have mirrors there that were put in my unmanned probes. And then to say that these little shadows that they claim are the lunar module, you know, from the people who fake the full body images at Cannon Air Force Base, right, of an astronaut standing on a fake moon set is more proof from the fox that stole the chicken. That's laughable. And so there really is not any independent verification of it. India has a claim to have pictures that I believe were either intercepted by NASA and given fake data. Someone did a high resolution magnification of it and the landers have three legs instead of four, which means they retroactively put something there (laughs) to cover their tracks. Uh, The fact is we have them faking being halfway to the moon from Earth orbit Two days into the flight, they didn't go. The last mission has shadows intersecting at 90 degrees, proving it's electrical light. They didn't go. The CIA has been faking, you know, credibility for, for since 1947. If a city boy is pretending to be a farmer, they will put dirt under his fingernails to get his, you know, spy friends to believe that he's really a farmer. They, they know how to fake it. They faked moon rocks. I mean... Neil Armstrong claimed he picked up this particular rock, put it in his pocket, and personally delivered it to the Prime Minister of the Netherlands in 1969. They immediately put it in a hermetically sealed box where it sat for 30, 40 years. Some curator watched my movie, gets curious, late one night, opens it up, puts it under a microscope. It's petrified wood. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. (laughs) And, And yet no reporter has the audacity to say, if the rocks are fake, what about the mission? And then Von Braun, when he has his deadline, goes to take a vacation in Antarctica six weeks before the first launch, where he collected hundreds of pounds of lunar meteorites, uh. which they tried to fake. But when you compare the, the Apollo samples with the real Chinese probe samples, they're dramatically different in composition. So one of the two people are lying about the moon rocks. Is it America or China? What do you think? 